What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 3200 Review Show, man. And today, today, we are blessed. We are blessed to be talking about the queen herself, no other than Beyonce Knowles' new album, Renaissance. Can I get some applause there? We got to clap. And as one of the members, an honorary member of the Beehive, man, I have to say that Beyonce does not make anything bad. Man. This album was pure awesomeness. And Beehive, I just want to say, my brothers and my cousin may say, I got your back on today's show. Man. We're going to represent the Beehive. Wow, man. you see my name still flawless. <laughs> <laughs> on thick, huh? <laughs> was under the bus, huh? So y'all, y'all scared of the house? Huh? I see. I see. No, I, I am a, I am a proud member of the Beehive. I'm a proud <laughs> member of the Beehive. What? <laughs> same, same here, same here. Right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really Put some respect on the name. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So this album, this album is the first of a trilogy uh, of albums Beyonce is going to be putting out here soon. It's the number. It's the first one of a trilogy, and on this album, particular album, she honors dance music in many different styles. You got some New Orleans bounce on there. You got some disco sounders on there. You got Afro beat. You got a little Latina X in there. You got a little bit of every style of dance, even like a little 80s uh, yeah. print style pop and a little 80s rap. A little bit of everything she put on there to show you that she is a renaissance queen and she has a lot of versatility, man. Uh, let, let's talk about the album, guys. What y'all thought about the album? Go ahead, uh, Beehive fans. Y'all can start it off. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I I have to start. Hey, she she named it properly, not like Drake. Drake, yeah, <laughs> she named it properly because you know I looked up the definition of Renaissance and it, it and it states a revival of or renewed interest in something. So, as Isaac said, she she hit every. It was like a world album. You know, it hit like everything you can really think of. We are the world. We are. The <laughs> yeah. So, so, I mean, she touched every nation. She is bringing unity back to the people. We don't need the box. <laughs> nah, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad album. It wasn't a bad album. Her, her uh, vocals, I think she was more lax. I don't know if she planning on doing a tour. Uh, but these tracks will help her uh, take a break because she really didn't sing a lot. <laughs> the vocals were still on point, man. The vocals were still on point. Uh, production was great. Uh, I, and I'll be honest, man, the, uh, there's a couple songs I did not really care for because it wasn't my style of dance music. Uh, Summer Renaissance, I didn't care for. Uh, Pure Honey, Thick, I didn't care for. And I think those those were the only ones that I really didn't really care for for like the for the beat. So it wasn't my style of music, but I know that people will like. It. I know some people will like it. What you got? What you got? Well, come on, let's hear from the haters here. Let's hear from the haters. Wow. I mean, I ain't no beehive hater, but I mean, like this this album definitely was different uh, than what she normally puts out. And it's very diverse. Like you say, she touched on a lot of different eras, uh, different styles of music. You know, part of that with her roots, with her mom being from New Orleans. Uh, there's a few songs like I didn't like either, but I may need to re-listen to it. But I'm not like a dance type person. But it was, I really can't say nothing bad about this album, though. I really can't. Because she made it for people who like dance and just different cultures. It's, it's a diversity album to me. So that's my take on it. Yeah. It, it was an album I expected. It, the sound of it sounded to me like a Beyonce album, man. She talked about 
empowerment. She talked about mm -hmm. black pride. Uh, I mean, she, the, the topics were, were all there like a normal Beyonce album. I wasn't R&B or soul, but when has Beyonce been a lot of R&B or soul? Like, really has never been. She's always been kind of in that pop genre. Yeah, maybe a younger day. This to me was very popish. Come on, Leo. What you got? <laughs> yeah, what about the cover? Nobody said nothing about the cover, though. Because I enjoyed my marriage. <laughs> 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 oh man. All right. All right. I guess since I'm gonna be the one, huh? That's that's what y'all pushed. It. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, actually, um, I agree with you, Jonathan. Um, um, you can tell, even though she had a new different and it, it is a refreshing sound, um, new different sounds that she played with. You can tell she still took her time in the studio. It was actually lyrics, unlike Drake. You know, it was actually lyrics. Uh, and that's one thing I got to say, even on some of uh, joint sales more, you would think more of a house beat. Back in the days, the people who used house beats, they could sing and stuff. They they had talent. So you would have the beat, the do, do, do. And then, because the, you got to think about it, C.C. Peniston can really sing. But but you know that that once I finally this happened to me, and you know she she tore it up. If you really just listen to her singing and everything else, and the and the lyrics and everything, so a lot of the house music from back in the days really had people. Uh, they had a one uh black dude. I can't remember his name, but it was like Major Abrams or something like that. He was the same way. He had a, he had a he had a voice on him, you know. So she did that. She has a voice. So she did that with this one. Um. I didn't criticize nothing. I know that she had some critics on the outside. Uh, she used the word spaz, which is um, which she said she will remove because it's a disparaging remark uh, nowadays uh, for the disabled uh, community. So that's in the song Heated. So if you got you get a later version, they might have that one word like blanked out or switched up if you, um, if you download it or buy it or whatever, get it later. Uh, probably for the radio versions. Um, Khalees. Oh, Jesus. Khalees. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about that. Huh? Let's talk about that. I've listened to this song about four times, and I, and I don't see, I don't see I don't, what Khalees is. I didn't is see about. it. I, you know, this is, this is, um, if, if she, because I don't know if she's really going to go after the B or not, I wouldn't advise it. But if she's going to do it, and let's say somewhere she win, this is it, it gets really crazy after that because that's just your that's somebody's interpretation. She pretty much said Beyonce uh song and it was energy is the song. Um that was Beyonce's interpretation of milkshake that she did with the Neptunes. Now the Neptunes owns um, the rights to that song and Khalees performed it. So mm -hmm. Even if you did, I think they said she did, they they did, a piece of it was the beat or something like that, but the people who get paid and legally um, have all the rights to it and everything is Neptunes. So, Khalees was like, well, she should have gave me a call. Nothing like milkshake at all. <laughs> <laughs> None of it sounds like milkshake. That's yeah. The way she said. Uh, somebody brought it to her attention, and that's what she said. She was like, she she should have got a call, um, but you you really not you don't have to. You're not obligated to, you know. Um, yeah, what was Khalees jealous? Whatever was she high when she heard this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She posted like, two, two videos or whatever on Instagram about it. She was heated about it. Me, myself, I, I, I'm with you. I really didn't. Um, I thought it was going to be more obvious the way she said it and everything else, but it's not stopping to be. Um, songs I, I liked in it. I liked uh, Cuff It. That's the one that got that Prince 80s energy, kind of like Apollonia, that I, I really like that, of course. That was, you know, um, I think Plastic Off the Sofa, which is crazy because she never said Plastic Off the Sofa in the whole song, which that shows the lyrics and everything that she did with this. Um, 
it to me it had really good vibes uh I like America has a problems. It, it also had that 80s energy, but I like the way she compared herself to the drug epidemic in the 80s to me. Like if you uh, really listen to the lyrics, uh, that's what I liked about it. Um, but to me, um, Pure Honey, um, she switched up. In the middle of, it was like it was like two whole different songs and i was like that was very creative but it was like two because i had to look back it was like is this the same song you know but it like y'all say it is it, a real good solid uh solid album um i'm sure she's going to get all kinds of awards and stuff like that from it because this is a really really good solid uh album to me and um like you said it's it's international um, I don't know if it's going well, actually I think I read something on it and it is it has kept caught on in states and everything else. But even if it don't, I know internationally this this, this is a, a hot album. Some other rappers might want to take note. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? I know I heard. Uh, I know I heard uh, a lot of people were uh, some criticisms I heard from people were uh, from like the older people because Beyonce got an older fan club too, like older right. older women mm -hmm. like her, but a lot of them didn't like the uh, the language, some of the language in there. They didn't care for the language, and uh, church another, girl. Another, yeah. Yeah. So that's that was the one I was gonna say. The church girl, like <laughs> I mean, they took what, it what the it wrong like? way. Huh? But, but let's be real, man. Church girl. <laughs> Come on, man. She was just telling the truth. She was just telling the truth. Like a preacher's son. Come on, man. <laughs> There's no lies here. Come on. <laughs> Listen, I love some New Orleans bounce, man. But the my inner Old white conservative man that lives deep down in me hated that song. <laughs> I love. I'm it. thinking about my daughters. I'm thinking about, if you listen huh? to the lyrics, it's, it's telling the truth. Is come on, man. Don't church girls be wild. Man. Yeah, uh, y'all don't know the church girls. Come on, <laughs> convention. <laughs> No. I, I can't speak on that. <laughs> He's probably gonna get some backfire from the church on that one. I believe there. His name was church. I just said convince. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that would that would I do for sure. I heard that one. I thought I thought I was gonna get a good soulful song, and then I like mm -hmm. pop it low, pop it, pop it like a hottie. I'm like, oh no, not the church girl. Do what you want to do. Chop it like that. Like, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Y'all yeah. no. yeah, know how it is. I mean, man. yeah, you know the saying. So, hey, I ain't going to say it, but I, I don't need nobody knocking on my door. <laughs> yeah. Could you, could, you, could you got in the church, girl? Chop it like a thotty. <laughs> Chop it like a thotty. Oh Chop it like a thotty. Chop it like a thotty. Hey, hey. Pop it like a thotty. Pop it like a thotty. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dang, okay. Nah, no, <laughs> man. Y'all don't the same outfit like they will send it uh, Saturday night. They be scooting in on Sunday morning. It's the church girl oh. anthem, man. Come on, now. Come on. Hey, you know, you, you Isaac, you remember how the Wednesdays used to be. <laughs> Getting out of church. I ain't gonna speak nobody's name, but <laughs> you go to Wednesday night Wednesday night Bible study. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna name no church either, but man, they they lock in. I know you can go on. Not the good we son kids, I don't know who y'all been hanging out with, man. Oh. We, we are Saved. Let's just yeah. say we got a family yeah. member that go to this church. I can't say the name of it. Though. We are blessed and highly flavored. <laughs> yeah. Flavored, yeah. Flavored, yeah. <laughs> we, are not, we are not dropping it like a fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make them devil's lies. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, man. Oh, that one, that one was, that one was, uh, that one was different. That one, I didn't care too much for it. Cuff it was good. 
Cozy, I like the cozy, cozy ride. Cozy yeah, I like ride. cozy. Yeah, cozy was a good one. Um, you know, uh, somebody kind of copied her other song, uh, "Break My Soul," a Christian singer who we may have discussed one time. I want to see if she going if she going to do a remix of Church Girl. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh let's 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 go ahead and rate it, man. Y'all had anything else y'all need to tell you on that album? Nah. Let's go ahead and rate it, man. Uh we are giving it flames, man. We're giving it flames, man. So this Beyonce Renaissance album, man. Listen, you got to listen to it more than once, man. Some of the songs, you're not going to like every song on it. And this is part one of a trilogy. So if you missing the R&B or you want some ballads, some love ballads, just wait. Let's see what part two and part three come out with. But for me, this album, I'm going to drop, uh, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop four flames on this bad boy. I'm going to drop four flames on this hot fire, man. Beyonce. Four out of five, that's what you're saying? Four out of five is what I'm saying. Go ahead, the uh, Beehive member. <laughs> oh, no, nah, y'all can go ahead. You can go ahead. I'm still thinking on this one because I only <laughs> listened to it once. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm gonna uh, and it's not it's not a high thing or nothing else like that. Uh, the criticism that I heard on it uh, is it nothing. It doesn't remove anything from the album. And the sound and the energy of it was was on point. She 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 knew the assignment. She she went out there and she knew the assignment. Uh, I'm gonna give a five, man. He forgot that he on mute. Five, man. I'm surprised you gave it a five, man. I, I thought for sure. I mean, I, you know what? If if she if, if Drake wouldn't have dropped that horribleness first. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I would have found some to crit, but but he he showed how how horrible something can be, and and uh, she showed how it should be uh, when you actually add lyrics and and do things um, that you're supposed to do, treat it like it's treated it as serious as you treat the other ones, and yeah, I give that versatility, a versatility, man. You can't beat the versatility, man. Yeah, it's all over the place. Yeah, she's a Renaissance queen, baby. You see a thing, Jonathan? Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm still, I'm still thinking, man. You know, okay. I got my Drake plan. Oh no, nah, turn that trash off. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, nah. and I'm gonna rate it, man. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give you my reason. I'm gonna give it a four, only because I listened to it one time. Uh, and I do like because it's, it's like I say, it's versatile, it's diverse. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it another listen. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Um, uh, yeah, um, I mean, I, I'll give it a five, man. I'm gonna give it a five. Uh, only because it, it, you know, it, it was a Beyonce album. I didn't, I mean, I didn't expect anything different from what she created. And, uh, she had the right people around her. And, uh, she's, I mean, she wanted a party CD, so she got a party CD and everybody dancing. <laughs> <laughs> <That'd be A-B. laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, that's three three of y'all three of y'all got the five oh no two Jonathan Leo gave it five me and Chris yeah, I gave it a four. four so it's a hot album it's not something you can just listen to once and get the whole feel of the beehive listen to it a couple times man get that whole that whole Beehive, man. And just wait. We can't wait to see uh, when she drops off the next part of the trilogy. I'm eager to see what kind of sound she's going to put out. Go ahead. Houston's own Beyonce, yep, yep. the queen. Yeah. I don't know. She's the queen of everything, man. They just they, they <laughs> the queen of everything. So thank you and Mr. Beyonce also again for blessing us with greatness. 
<laughs> she put it on, man. Uh. 32 double O, let's go. go. 3200, but yeah. you already know yeah. this. You know it. Couple of brothers, hard working and focused. Let's go. Intellectual, entertaining for show. Sure. 32 double O.